What's up guys, it's time to clash with Cam. Sup guys, welcome to my clan war domination video. We got 127 out of 135 stars. So we're gonna start from the bottom watching every five replays at two times speed. So we've got number 44 attacking number 45 and he's using mass dragons. He drops three lightning spells on one of the air defenses and now he just has one left to deal with and I think he has plenty of dragons. So here comes the clan castle troops and the dragons are gonna be able to take care of those guys and then move right over to that air defense and take it out. So now that the air defense is gone, there's nothing stopping them. And to top that off, he drops max balloons on a Town Hall 7. Come on man, that's not even fair. Okay, so moving on to number 40. Shit, we got three stars everywhere. This is crazy. Oh, it looks like number 44 attacked number 40 as well, so looks like he picked the right guys to attack. So he's using the same exact strategy on this base, although it is a bit more upgraded. So he takes out one of the air defenses, and now he's sending in all of his dragons to take out that final air defense and get the three star. So a dragon comes out of the clan castle, and it looks like he is definitely outnumbered, so he's gonna go down in a couple of seconds. And then the dragons are going to move in on that air defense, and once that goes down, there's nothing stopping this attack. Okay, so next up is number 35, and still haven't seen a two-star base yet, and we're getting into Town Hall 8 territory, so the bases are getting stronger, and hopefully the attacks are getting stronger as well. So we've got a max dragon in the clan castle on this one, there are three air defenses to deal with. In order to get the three-star, all three of the air defenses must go down. So two raid spells dropped, and now they're moving in towards the last two air defenses. The town hall goes down, and then the dragons move on to that last air defense, and now there are three archer towers still up, and those might actually cause a problem for this attack. Those two archer towers took out a couple of dragons, but now we've got a big group of dragons moving in, and they're actually going straight for those archer towers, so that really helped this attack. Oh shit, it looks like there's a builder hut in the corner. Don't forget about those or you might run out of time. Okay, so we're gonna continue moving on up the war map to number 30, so let's see who attack this base. You. What? No, I didn't. I bet you this guy trolls in global all the time, but anyways. He's using Town Hall 8 Go Wipe, so he uses a couple of hog riders to lure out the clan cow's troops, and he's gonna take them over to the corner to take them out. It looks like he only has a level 2 dragon in the clan castle, so it's a good thing he had backup, otherwise he might have lost to that level 3 dragon. Those level 1 golems look like cute little boulders. It's not just a boulder! It's a rock! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like he has a pretty good line of wizards and those wall breakers are going in. They gotta make it to that center compartment if this guy wants to get the 3 star. Luckily they do, and here comes the king and the Pekkas. They're gonna take out that town hall and move on to destroying the rest of this base. Alright, so now we're at the halfway point, moving on up to number 25, and all the bases still have been 3-starred up to this point. This is a really weird base because most of the air targeting defenses are in the center, 
So if the attacker can funnel a bunch of his troops into the center, then this base is done. So he's going to let his dragons take out the defenses on the side, and then he's going to send in his clan castle balloons. They're going to go straight towards that center, and like I said, this base is done. Alright, so now we're getting pretty close to the top, we're at number 20. The attacker is Modified Monkey, so let's see how he does it. He's got Max Dragons, a Heal Spell, and two Rage Spells. This is actually the exact composition that I use. He probably has some Max Balloons in his Clan Castle too. So right now he's working on clearing the buildings on the outside so that his troops will go into the center. Here comes the Wizards, and it looks like they took out one of the Dragons. But now we've got a bunch of Dragons moving in. He's got to get to all three of those air defenses. Here come the Clan Castle Balloons, and two Rage Spells have been dropped. It's starting to look pretty sketchy in the center. Those two dragons have very little health, but he drops a heal spell and it heals them up in time. So they're going to be able to move on to that final air defense and take it out. Number 15, just three more replays left. We're going to be getting to Town Hall 9s and 10s pretty soon. Still no two stars. This attacker is using hog riders and it looks like there are a couple of spots for giant bombs. There's a spot for two giant bombs right here, but luckily he takes out one of those giant bombs with his hog riders and he also takes out the clan castle troops. So he's going to lure them up to the top corner over here, take them out and then start his attack. Holy shit, what took out those troops? It was a Valkyrie. That was a pretty good idea. And now here come the Hog Riders. They're going to be able to destroy the rest of this base. There are only a few spots for giant bombs, but Teslas pop up there. So it looks like the giant bombs are probably on the outside of this base. So it was a great idea choosing Hog Riders for this attack. Wait, what the? The king left his pedestal to chase after the Hog Riders. So it looks like the Barbarian King is racist, but the Hog Raiders are going to take him out, and now there are no defenses left, so this base is definitely going to get 3 starred. Alright, so moving on up to number 10, still no 2 stars, we 3 starred all the way up to number 9. And this is actually going to be the last Town Hall 8 base. This attacker is using Hog Riders as well and he lured out the Clan Castle troops and got rid of a giant bomb all at the same time. So now he's going to take out the Clan Castle troops over here and he drops his Clan Castle troops and a wizard. Oh my god, the dragon got taken out. But he still managed to take out the Clan Castle troops, not many spots for giant bombs here and the Teslas. Uh, popped up in the spaces so it looks like he's gonna be able to three-star this base as well nice choice choosing hog riders So it looks like the king chased after and killed off all the hog riders, but luckily Minnie is going to have enough troops to clean up the rest of this base in time, and that racist king got what he deserved.
All right, so just two more replays that I'm going to show you guys. This one's Town Hall 9. It looks like the Town Hall 9s in our clan are having trouble three-starring the other Town Hall 9s. So that's why we actually purged a bunch of our Town Hall 9 players because we were losing wars because we weren't able to three-star those Town Hall 9 bases. So number 12 is using Go Wipe, and Go Wipe is actually not normally a three-star attack unless you have no mistakes. So KX Rider is going to be able to make it to the center of the space, take out the Town Hall, and get to the 50%, so he's gonna get two stars, but unfortunately his troops are all gonna get held up in the center with all those defenses pointing in on them. All right, so moving on to the final replay of today's video, the attack against the top player, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. So Tom Jones is going to be attacking this base with Go Wipe. This is a really weird base. I mean, seriously, who the fuck designed this base? But anyways, this was a really impressive war, so I wanted to give a shout out to Barbarian Party. 127 stars, so we only missed 8 stars on the war map. But anyways, after this raid, that's going to wrap it up for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you guys later.